All right, Outer Wilds. This is a game that I have played a long, long time ago. So long ago, in fact, that I barely remember much about it at all. Uh, wandered around on our home planet a little bit, got a ship, and then, like, sailed off to some other planets that were very abstract. And I believe I got stuck inside of them a few times because it was fairly early, as I said. Um, I'm going to presume that the game's probably in a bit of a different state now. And uh, we'll walk in with a fairly open mind, clear out those preconceptions as best Bless as I can. Us. Bless us. Remember, this is not the Outer Wilds, nor is it Outer Worlds or the Outer Worlds. It is just Outer Wilds. I think they've... did they change their logo? I thought their logo looked sort of similar to the Outer Worlds also. Because I remember looking at it once and talking with people and we're like, oh, that's a very strange coincidence. Excuse me. It, it's just the fact that they both happened right around the same moment. So I got that, like, prestige illusionist thing where... I mean, they really aren't that similar, but the names just happen to be. Spoilers for Overwatch, that Widowmaker is cheating. <laughs> okay, anyway, the names are not important. Let's start a new expedition. And, well, in a moment, I guess. Usually you do the loading in an idle moment, right? Could have loaded it all right. I didn't know we were going to do that. <laughs> I would have clicked on it <laughs> while I was talking. Okay, there it goes. Oh, hey, Rex. I was working on a fan game level for you. I, uh, I made some progress on it a couple days ago. I was happy with the weirdness of it, but there was, like, no skill value yet. I'll let you know when it's ready. Oh, cool. I think I remember this shot, but I don't remember it having a ship breaking apart in the sky. But yet to kind of take away your suspense, I already know I'm going to like this because I've played an early access version of it many years ago. Oh, you can see your body. And I have... Like, stone skin? Scales or something? Marshmallows. Ooh, it's like virtual reality without a head visor. Extend stick. Yes! I like them a bit charred. Yeah, that's the sound you want. Oh, should I not be playing with keyboard and mouse? Oh, hey, this isn't lighting on fire. I want my money back. Can you burn it until it goes away? Just, yep. <laughs> A little bit of ash left. Yum. Controller's better? Oh, okay. Funny to hear you say that. I wouldn't have expected that. Well, lucky for me, controller is already here. Oh, music. Why is it slightly jittery when I turn with the controller? See that? You want the controller for flying? Thank you also to Twisted100 and Interfector87 for the 3 and 14 months, respectively. Let's talk to our friend here, Slate. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch campout under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. 
What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time. And then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfell's at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Yeah, I do remember doing that. Oh hey, it's day now. It's almost like there's a day-night cycle. I don't like that it's a little bit framey when I turn the view. What would be doing that? Turn that off. Yep, fix it. <laughs> Classic V-Sync. Ooh, tutorial mode. Yeah, I remember doing this too. Oh god. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't very good at it. Yay, I'm a great astronaut. Oh god. Thank goodness there's a portal. Down and up thrust is left and right trigger. Probably should have read that bit before. Kinda makes it easier. <laughs> oh, well. Great job. Okay. Oh, what up, Mika? What a landing! I guess that's why Sleet lets you find the real thing, huh? Oh, is that a joke? Are you making fun of me? Very fast um, orbit. Seem to be going into the darkness already. Oh, what are you working on here? It's Porphy. Hey, oh, hatchling. Here you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you and me and Gasson open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine. And more daunting digestive challenge. Ha, <laughs> got him. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthinian. Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems... Oh, the humans were hunter-gatherers at one point. Stems from trial and error. By which I mean our ancestors survived by eating a lot of bad things. Thanks, Porphy. And thank you, Badger Dash, for the 31 months. Oh, it's old, old Rutile. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore, or I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program's certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for using or causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Yeah, they're 8-bit, but they still work well. Projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh, would you look at that? I remember when Goku used to come visit this planet. And then King Kai would teach him martial arts. Oh, nice. Is that my space gear? Maybe in a minute. Alright. Nice ambience. It's a very comforting sound, isn't it? It's whenever you hear the crickets in the water. It's like Oh god, there's a geyser. 
just very comforting to be out in nature and especially with a lot of these like soft yellow lights everywhere. It just makes you want to like rest comfortably. So it's launch day, huh? Hell's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. The platform... Wait, launch day has already been day and night several times, but... Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. I was thinking about it, and the platform uh, those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The launch pad is flammable? Ah, you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours, probably. I thought he was giving me a quest. Turns out not. I don't know where I'm going. Just looking around behind this building, I guess. Yes, true. For a town made out of wood, you'd think flammability would be more of a concern. Alright, nice. <laughs> How you doing today? Nice? Oh, I'm doing nice. Uh, hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Yeah, where's the observatory? It's questions like that that make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know. The observatory is up the path just behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, you just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the Zero-G cave. It's funny how much this looks like mist. <laughs> it's like... Is it mist or the... maybe in Riven? I don't know, the, one of them had a tree age. I think it was in the first one. And there was a lot of, like, walking across planks up in the trees. That's cool. That's one of those games that's, like, one of the most classic games that people don't really talk about much anymore. It's not like uh, people forgot about it or anything, it's just, like, it's not always relevant. But I think it deserves a lot of that classic status. Even if the puzzles are sometimes so obtuse that they're kind of bad. It's very ambitious for the time. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide-and-seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow the signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be... We'll even let you be it? Uh, yeah, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Ah, tutorial, I see. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. All right. This seems not very hard. <laughs> oh. Is that you over there? How do I blast you with laser cannons? Aw, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Eh. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? What if I just leave the planet with the other child still hidden? Oh god. Am I okay? I don't... Okay. <laughs> I don't know how well I swim. I think that should be kind of a prerequisite, though. If you're gonna go up into the stars, you should probably be able to swim. You never know. Hide and seek frequency. Definitely applicable in everyday use. Actually, how do I get to this person? It's 
very dark. Are you up on this little island? It's a little too high, I think. No, you're like in the wall. So there must be a cave. Maybe that's the zero G cave. That's where G's hang out. Sorry, zero of those. None of the G's. Original gravitons. Oh! Galaxy brain. Good hiding spot. I won! I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Didn't I win? Well, thank you for teaching me how to use my signal scope, I guess. Alright. That's enough fiddling. Let's get on with it, then. I would love to spend a nice restful vacation here in their um, wonderful campsite slash crater. It does look quite relaxing here. Hey, Austin. That's too many planets lined up. Tell them to calm down with that. What's that? Oh, is that like a moon? I think it's a moon a million zillion miles away. That's no moon. Oh! Hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are! My signal scope is set to Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybex banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. Depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Mm, I think all the planets are in the sky at all times, but I know what you mean. Signal scopes are cool. No, you're cool, Marine. Zoom, please. Oh. Well, isn't that nice? so resonant. What's going on over here? Oh, there's a campfire! Okay, no more whistling. Yeah, I was confused by that smoke as well, but I didn't want to make a fuss about it. Oh. Oh, God! What? There's, like, ambulances outside and demon crystals. Tell me about these, please. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside... Ghost matter inside this fence. Gassan said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. Soon you're not even gonna be matter. It just takes a su su super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. 
when I'm a grown-up. Ghost Matter is awesome. Uh... You know Ghost Matter is how Tech Tight lost their foot, right? That's a Zelda reference. Whoa, really? That's so cool! I want to lose my foot when I grow up. No, not really. Why is the one... There's like two crystals right here, they don't matter. But these are Ghost Matter. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and impossibly cold substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Thanks, Hornfells. I'd like to... Hmm, which one should I do? Take snapshot or take snapshot? Try a little of both. Yep. I see what you mean. I think the wooden fence isn't really to keep it out. It's to keep people from going too close to it. It just seems like there's just a plume of gas around it that you shouldn't touch. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Oh, you're missing an eye. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, quote-unquote. Not sure what it actually is, but we're gonna call it a satellite. Which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Yeah, okay. Cool, go get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Yeah, no cussing. This is a family stream. Ooh. Gravity mines. I've heard gravity falls, actually. Pretty. I could kind of see the corners of the walls, but I think that's not the point. The point is that it's glittery looking. Nice! I'm referring to the type of rock. But you probably knew that. You're all geologists. Oh. That's n very nifty. I didn't know we were going to get a little HUD. Thrusting? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Do we have, like, a fuel? Yeah, right there, top left. Makes also sense. Uh, can I take this lantern? No. I liked how it glowed purple, and I was hoping to continue uh, with the glowing in other places. I played too many MMOs. When you see a person facing away from you with a pickaxe, you want to stay out of their aggro range most of the time. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. <laughs> Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tanktite saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on Firewatch. 
Mm, I get it. With the old scout launcher... Scout launcher? They're launching scouts now? And saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tech Tight once. Pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you ask me. Alright, you, you keep at it, tough. Oh. What's that? Oh, it's a root system. I'm gonna guess it's probably fall damage. It's okay. I can navigate um, different gravities pretty effectively, I think. Hey, Dragory. Welcome. I'm doing all right. How are you? We're still right at the beginning, if you just got here. Oh, here we go. Did I do this in the demo ages back? I might have. Press left stick. Okay. Oh, wait. Hang on. I gotta, like, align myself with the velocity, I think. Velocity matched. That's what we like. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't so hard. Oh. Lovely. Kellis Degro, thank you for the 42 months! Hey, we've got a rock pride now if you want to proclaim that. There are new emotes. Match velocity. Easy. I don't know if it's because I've done so much level editing. I also don't really have a hard time, like, navigating 3D spaces like that. I'm used to not really having gravity when I move around my camera. Although there is some velocity to worry about here, which is a little different. Uh, I do need to, like, not run out of fuel, though, I think. So, where's the third repair? I've also played Descent and, like, some other six dimensions uh, of freedom shooters. Well, that looks like something that needs to be repaired, but I guess it's not important. Oh, is it? Do I have to go in? Ah! I see. Easy. EZ. Whee! Alright. I've been trained. I feel ready for this. Just don't smash your head on the wall. Okay, I, I am a little bit confused as to where up is. Um. <laughs> I'll get there. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, there's up. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> it's cool that you can get that disoriented, though. I like that. This reminds me a little bit of Astroneer. After you've been digging, looking for uh, eggs in the dirt. <laughs> Need to come back for a return to base. Oh, do I have to give the suit back now? I think they wanted it hooked back on the wall before. Cool. Easy enough. I think as long as I know what my objective is, I'll be able to navigate effectively enough.
Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that you uh, put all this time into training. You got it? Yeah. I should really think of others when I think of avoiding being killed. Get out of here, ghost material. Oh, the scout launcher. Where should I launch a scout? Oh, I guess there. Oh, yeah. That's fun. I would like to retrieve Scout now. Thank you. Uh, is that the observatory? Yeah, it's gotta be. There's freaking telescopes coming out of it. Oh. I didn't realize there was a cliff that led around. I will do my best to watch out for fall damage, yes. Don't need to go in any of these buildings, I suppose. Is there, like, stuff I should look for while I'm here, or is this just kind of like... Let's get on with it. My exploration impulse is to, like check every cre crevice for nonsense. Good to go. Okay. Oh, pretty. What do I think of it so far? Oh, it's pleasant. Yeah, I... I, I don't know. I, I don't really think I have much of an opinion yet, because I've barely started it. And this is all stuff that I played when it was back in Early Access years ago. So, uh, I think I have to get to, like, the new stuff that people are all excited about. Big thanks to these additional founding members of the Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we never would have gotten off the ground. This is, uh... Yeah. Olmrecker. Olmrecker got a credit in here? Teen Choice Award-winning Olmrecker? <laughs> uh, this remarkably intact statue was carved by Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Was there like a light jumping along this edge while I was reading that? I kept seeing something move out of the corner of my eye, but I didn't look at it. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Oh, maybe I saw that. I thought that said HA with an exclamation point. Talk to HA! Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last. Hey, buddy. It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into in inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha! <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good! You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. 
I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? Here to see the new Nomai statue? Just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? I did check out the statue briefly. Looks like... kind of like a goat with three eyes. I remember this area. Ooh. Creepy fish demon. Very subnautica of it. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew, too, flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. What's this? I like it. It's shiny. Is this the... I have to get the third one, right? Because there's two, so if you get the third one... Wait. Oh. It's a fucking SCP. Alright. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. It's a... Uh, a quantum... Uh... What, was, what the hell is it called? When, all, when the points exist everywhere outside of observation until you observe them and then they solidify. It's like quantum point theory or some kind of thing. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree. The effect is extremely creepy. Superposition, thank you, that's the one. What if I stand on it and then look away? Will I also teleport? Oh, you made it slightly curved. How did they know that's my greatest nemesis? Can I duck? If I can duck jump. Pretty sure I can get up there. Also, I've solved this puzzle before. All you have to do is walk backwards. <laughs> having fun. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Like Beetlejuice? As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Oh, isn't that... Uh... We're, like, in the middle of that happening with our sun now? But that still takes millions of years, I think, or a long, long time. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Classic Chert. 
Ooh, I like that. Looks like concept art. This crystal was taken from a Nomai rune on Brittle Hollow. Seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh. Neat. Uh, I would like 20 of these for my adventure, please. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's not something I saw back in the day. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds, uh, Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. You didn't even try to put it back together, did you? You just kind of tossed it. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was almost uh, was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomai Nominian ancestors. Nominian? It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. It's like a weird cradle. Am I just an asshole for, like, not particularly caring about when a species exists and then stops existing? Like, that question in, in itself, I don't find particularly mysterious. I'm like, well, stuff just dies off. That's just how it is. Like, we lose species and gain species and we'll find them, rather, uh, all the time. But I guess these ones seem sentient and kind of, like, intelligent, so maybe that's a little more important. But yeah, you can't get attached to, like, every living thing, because there's just too many of them. It's like, five billion mosquitoes in the world, and I'm sure there's a ton of different derivations of them. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-Archaeological Expeditions. Oh. Oh, it's the translator. Neat. Cassava. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, that's a cool effect. The lines actually shift across... The marks. How is that communicating that? It's just a line made out of chalk. Or is it... Maybe the very, very particular... Oh, yeah, it is. I thought this was meant to just be, like, a rough texture, but I think this is actually, like, vertices and very specifically drawn. Uh, so only this bit and then this bit are... The readable parts. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. What about this, though? I'm more interested in this. But you got nothing? Oh, you're excited to translate the shit out of that, but this one... You know, it's just a structure. Who cares? 
<laughs> this piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Ask the Rosetta Stone. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, pretty. It's like a spaceship tower. I like that. Tell me about your science balls. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level. So what do you think causes this spooky motion? Uh, the fact that we exist on a planet that moves? The answer is the moon. Ah! Gravity! So, kind of, but not for the reason I said. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. That was most of the stuff. But yeah, it's kind of hard to get attached to all the millions of little species of bugs and insects and stuff, because ultimately, you know, we're eventually all going to die, right? And then every single thing that ever existed will eventually be expunged from history because it requires someone else to perceive it. <laughs> so you can take the ultimate in nihilistic roots in... Uh, you know, just save yourself the energy and just don't get attached. Now I'm immortal out of spite. <laughs> I still want to pick up this lantern, though. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. That was, by the way, super dark humor and not actually... I don't want to think that way. Sometimes my brain makes me think that way a little bit, but it's like I try not to let it sink in. So, you know, I hope nobody takes that too seriously. Um, and you'll be the first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. For some reason, reading that sentence made me want to eat those jelly Coke bottle candies. What a weird association. Some, maybe the word giddy or something made me think of that. Yeah, there's like some kind of super strange brain connection happening there that has nothing to do with what it <laughs> what it said on the actual screen. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. I want to start with something small. You prefer to ease into things? That's a sensible plan. More sensible than most of our astronauts tend to be, and that's a fact. Do you think you'll go to Outer Rock then? Oh, I get to choose? You're not going to give me missions? Um, yeah, I haven't played this yet, largely just because when it came out I was inundated with other stuff and just took me a minute to get to it. Um, I, I get so many codes and stuff sent in that if I don't, like, force myself to prioritize certain ones, like, two years can go by and I won't even get to stuff, so. Yeah. The time has come. Um, our moon would be a safe place to travel to and get your bearings in space. I'm sure Esker would appreciate the visit. Plus, we don't know uh, what the ancient Nomai runes on the moon are, or why they were built. You put your new translator tool through its paces. Well then, looks like all that is left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space! <laughs> I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before launch? No, because you jinx it if you say the opposite. So I'm just trying to lean in. At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Nah. 
Imagine an astronaut actually said that on launch. You get the most dirty looks. <laughs> Hornfield's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. They need guardians. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. So my launch codes are in... dots and dashes. That's a thing. Pretty sure I need a translator just for that, huh? Oh! Goatface killer! Oh my god. That's... Don't do that. This seems important. Nobody saw that, huh? Just me. Okay. I'll just chalk it up to the, uh... I don't know. Fish poisoning. Maybe I... snorted some bone dust. I don't know what that was. Just a normal statue. Nobody will notice that it's turned 90 degrees from where it was. Certainly not the museum curator that was just begging me to look at the statue before. Oh. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? Yeah, the statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? Uh, you can literally see that it's turned and that its eyes are open, so don't give me that shit. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfell's tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. Why would you think the eyes would open? I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue. But Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Oh, that sounds like a good one. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you better start off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Another day on our warm planet. Let's thrust ourselves off into the cold void of space. For science! But like, actually though. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Uh... I thought my ship was... Is that... That's it over there, isn't it? I thought I had to go back down to the ground area to get back to the ship, but maybe not. What happened? You misclicked? Did you ban somebody by accident? Launch tower. Ah. Classic reading the signs. Don't forget, you can use, uh... Rock Blind now. <laughs> I made an emote specifically so you can... Tell me I'm stupid. <laughs> Hey, astronaut, going to space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Oh, I get it. They're named after rocks. That's pretty disturbing. But Hornfeld says no matter... Uh, says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Hornfeld says they got lost in space, even though they were the best pilot ever. 
you're not as good as Feldspar, so you should really be careful not to get lost. Thanks, bud. Hey, this is where I eat marshmallows. Oh, right. See, I wasn't... I was right. It is actually back at the ground level. I just went back to it a different way. I remember this elevator, but I didn't remember how to get to it. Thanks, pump box. Glad you like them. That's kind of pretty. I'm such a sucker for, like, any kind of nature vantage. I gotta say, Red Dead 2, the vast swaths of nature you can see in that, the draw distance is so good. And the clouds are so pretty. I'll show you that stuff later, though. It also loads surprisingly fast as you're moving through the environment, so they did a pretty good job streaming that. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm just taking off now. Buckle up! <laughs> 